it's the week after Easter and I'm still using the heater. It's been a pretty chilly week and I'd like to get a little exercise, but I'm a freeze baby. Alright, so I get quite a few questions. Uh, MSD 6010, 6012, 6014 troubleshooting. What's everybody's number one issue, especially the novices? No spark. Cranky, cranky, no sparky, sparky. Well, there's a couple things you can do here. For one, fire up your laptop. I believe the 6014 has evolved so you can use a USB. So you're not stuck using, you know, a 1999 IBM ThinkPad with the DIN 9 cable. So if you look here, I just opened up MSD. I just opened this up. Yeah, I'll even prove it. I'll shut the... I'm going to open it back up so it's at a... <clears throat> and if you look at the gauges here... And your monitors. I've got nothing. Nothing going on here. Nothing. Okay. There's a point in this. Keys off. Uh, just hooked up the MSD so there's no power from the controller to the computer. And the number one issue people have is you get a bad ground. How do you know if you get a bad ground? Well, basically, if you turn the key on. Keys on, everything's powered up. Let's come over here to the graph. You got monitor showing life. Initial degrees, 20. Battery voltage, map sensors reading, hours. I don't even know why there's an hour meter on it. So that's how you know if you got a bad. Bad ground or several bad grounds. I'm going to kill this thing here. Bad ground is the number one top reason why these uh, they won't fire. They're very sensitive to ground. In the harness, um, limiter. make sure it goes to a good 12 volt keyed source and make sure your ground goes directly to the negative of your battery. It's pretty self-explanatory. Also, also one thing to note, once you disconnect or shut your key off, uh, you'll have some, it won't, the, the charts won't reset themselves, the graph won't reset themselves, the gauges. <clears throat> Other thing, and I'm, I'm not going to do it right now, but if you have a bad crank sensor or if the your crank sensor or cam sensor, primarily your crank sensor, is not reading. If this is hooked up, you got life to your gauges and your graphs. And then you have somebody else watching this or you're watching this, you put this in the car. You crank it, the tech's going to move. If this thing's coming to life, you got a good ground, you got good power. You're cranking it, your tech's not coming to life, you know, 0 to 200 RPM, whatever your cranking speed is. You got a bad crank sensor or an issue with the crank sensor. If your crank, se crank sensor is good, which 99% of them are good, I rarely see any of them fail. Chances are you got a bad wire in the harness or the box is bad. These boxes are very simple. A lot of early ones were plagued with issues but there's really nothing to them. If you're cranking and you have no spark and you have readings on your computer it's got to be with the crank sensor or the cam sensor, primarily the crank sensor. That's where it gets most of its information from. So, this is to help you guys, you know, maybe have a little bit of headway. Everyone says, check your grounds, check your grounds. So, okay, well, if you think you've got a good ground, how are you, how are you for sure that you have a good, good ground? Plug it on your laptop. See if the stuff comes to life when you turn the key on. See if the tack moves when you're cranking it over. That's how you can tell. 90% of the issues with these boxes are ground related. Or they have really poor power source. All the quality control issues have long been remedied. So, that's my little info video for this cold Sunday morning. I hope this helps somebody.
I mean, it helped. It helped me at first. I uh, when I hooked up the cutlass, I didn't have any. I had a problem with my grounds. It's because, like an idiot, I grounded it like the I don't know if it was the valve cover or something. I don't know. Grounded directly to the battery. Hope this helps, guys.